Good morning, my friends. Pardon the wild hair. Not that my hair hasn't been wild every other morning in these videos. Um, I literally just wake up and go straight to reading my word. So this is what you get. Um, anyway, I have a little testimony. Um, I can tell, I mean, of course, like God always moves on the word. Um, but I can tell that things are happening from reading the book of ne Nehemiah. Um, nothing specific yet, but just little like raindrops of like new things, um, new doors of opportunity that are presenting themselves. And, you know, um, to me, it's amazing how fast things can just like change and get like improve or get better or I mean it can literally be like one day sorry you guys we got cut off there um what I was saying though is that like you can like this journey with with God is so amazing like one day you can just wake up and and like the choices that you made to step out in faith and get into God's word and be, you know, um, brave, like you, you'll feel it really working, you know? And that's what I would say is like, if there's something that you're really afraid of right now, like if there's something in the back of your mind that you know you've been needing to do or like, something that you know would like really make you feel more complete in life um you should do it like even if your heart is racing the whole time and it's really scary you should do it because i've been noticing like i've been trying to be really brave lately and like really face my fears and i notice a big different excuse me i notice a big difference in my life like I, I can feel God rewarding those steps of faith, um, but also getting into his word every day. Um, so let's read chapter seven of Nehemiah. After the wall had been rebuilt, I had set the doors in place. Gatekeepers and the singers and the Levites were appointed. I put in charge of Jerusalem, my brother Hanani, along with Hananiah, the commander um, with the citadel because he was a man of integrity and feared God more than most men do. I said to them, the gates of Jerusalem are not to be opened until the sun is hot. While the gatekeepers are still on duty, have them shut the doors and bar them. Also appoint residents of Jerusalem as guards, some of their posts and some, some at their post and some near their houses. Okay, and then the then there's like a list of like 60 exiles and their families and their tribes that return from exile into the city that they had just rebuilt. Um, and then it goes on to say, uh, these searched for their family records, that some people had to search for their family, family records but could not find them, and so were excluded from the priesthood as unclean. The governor therefore ordered them not to eat any of the most sacred food until there should be a priest ministering. Um, and some of the heads of the family contributed to the work. And it, it, 20,000 drachmas of gold and 2,000 minas of silver and 67 garments for the priests. The priests, the Levites, the gatekeepers, the singers, the temple servants, along with certain of the people and the rest of Israel settled into their own towns. When the seventh month came, the Israelites had settled in their own towns. All the people assembled as one man in the square before the water gate. They told Ezra the scribe to bring out the book of the law of Moses, which the Lord had commanded for Israel. So this chapter is really exciting because it's like now their hard work is really starting to show. Um, so they have rebuilt the walls and the city and now, uh, you know, he appoints everyone a job and a place and 
I think what is really to be made noted here in this um, chapter is that like he wants like Nehemiah wants to do this right like it's not just like yay we rebuilt now let's just go home and call it a day and we did our job you know we rebuilt and that's good no he appointed the most the man with the most integrity to lead everything to um to be the head of the city um he's not the governor but he's the one overseeing like all the goings on um and he and notice that he keeps the people on guard so you know they've been building with one hand and fighting their battles with another and notice that they're not just like okay we rebuilt it now we can stop fighting he, like he knows that he needs to keep fighting for what's right and then the most beautiful thing about all of this is he's creating a safe space he's literally putting boundaries up for the exiles to come home um and i mean isn't that like i think that's such a commentary for our time right now like everything that we're going through in our like globally like in so many ways we have been exiled and we're coming home and like doesn't it wouldn't it feel i mean doesn't it feel wonderful to to be ushered there in safety to to really um for that to be something that's done with integrity like you've gone through a lot and now it's time for you to feel safe and cared for and loved um that someone that's looking out for you is appointing people of integrity to watch over you and to let you heal from being in exile so i pray for that for all of us i just love this chapter um so those are my thoughts for today and it's tuesday it's Tuesday, so I'm going to be recording a Tuesday talk. So after you watch this, go check out my Tuesday talk. I'm going to be um, talking about like career choices. So if that's interesting to you, go check it out.